I mean, what's the Libertarian Party? It's 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 a bunch of, of liberty activists, and you have a, a couple of, of you know pointed people within the movement who are in leadership trying to herd cats. I mean, that's that's literally what we are right now. Um, and I think part of the problem is because we don't really have a direct focus on what what are we doing? Like, what's the goal? What what are we? Why are we so concerned? with who's running for office for the Libertarian Party. What what What's our mission, right? I mean, every every campaign has a goal. It's to get elected. Is that our goal? Is our goal to get elected or is it to, to educate people? And right. and I think that's part of the problem too, is that we don't really have a, a singular focus. Now look at the left, right? Let's just take the Democratic Party, for example, because it's the most, um, you know, the most recent people can see this actually take place, you know, on display. You have Tulsi Gabbard on stage. She is, I would say, what, a non-interventionist, Democrat, maybe leaning independent, right? You have Andrew Yang, who I dare say is an independent Democrat, who has these visions of grandeur for universal basic income. You have Joe Biden, who's as establishment as they come. You have Amy Klobuchar, who's pretty much, you know, right down the middle, moderate. I want to point out, I really like Andrew Yang as like a, a person. person. Yes. Right? I, I like, I'm very interested and I would like to see him get involved with things. Yeah. He's a smart guy. He's, he's but really smart. But the UBI thing, I can't go for because, like, I just don't see. It. If you want to give people a thousand dollars a month, right? Okay, why not just let me keep a thousand dollars a month <laughs> out of my paycheck by stop taxing the hell out of me? Kevin, like, you're definitely following my tweets. I tweeted that a couple a uh, couple of months ago. Like, come like, on, man! Like, like that, it makes sense, let me right? Keep my money. Right. Why, am I, why do I have to filter it through you? Where you're going to spend it on bull? And I just keep my thousand dollars a month. Yeah, I'm cool with that. You know? Now, sneak behind the curtain. Make sure you tune in next week to the Brian Nichols Show because I actually have Max Gulker from AIER back on my show. We're going to discuss the Yang Gang. We're talking about UBI. So, in, in just you know, general consensus, we came to right. at the end of the show. We like Andrew Yang as a person. We think he's a great right. guy. I would love to go have a, a you know gluten free beer with him. Um, <laughs> however, his ideas are wacko. I mean, that's right. just that's just. I mean, it is what it is. But right. um, when you look at the Democratic Party, by and large, there is a cornucopia of beliefs. How about that for Thanksgiving? We have a cornucopia of, of beliefs that are being represented on stage. Um, and heck, you know, I'll give credit where credit's due as well. Ron Paul was on stage back in 2008, seven years after 9-11, preaching an anti-foreign uh, you know, foreign intervention uh, principled belief on stage to New York City's mayor, Rudy Giuliani. Again, seven short years after 9-11. That, that's important because it shows that the, even the most staunch war hawks and the most staunch non-interventionists were able to have the ability to, to reach an entire group of people because they're using the party as a platform. Um, the Libertarian Party has to, to remember, it's, a, it's all it is is a platform. So what we need to do is really try and remember that at the same point in time that we have these different beliefs within the Libertarian movement, we're still on, to use Jason Stapleton's analogy, we're on this bus floating through space and we're all going to destination liberty land, right? And I don't care if you're an anarchist, a minarchist, classical liberal, paleo conservative, like anything, I, I, I don't care. We're all on our way to liberty. We are so freaking far away from that destination right now that we're just arguing of how to get there and it's, it, it's not productive. Like right. once we at least get within, you know, a mile <laughs> of, of liberty land, like if you wanna hop off the bus then, okay. But let's at least kind of get close to there. And right now, the Libertarian Party hasn't even, you know, gotten you within uh, what the same stratosphere. So we need to figure out what we're trying to do, and if we're trying to actually change people's minds, bring more people into the movement, and either have electoral success or just have you know, success from educating people, that we need to get further along as a unified group, despite our differences. So to the Kim Ruffs or the Adam Kokeshes or heck, even the Lincoln Chafees, right? If you're on board with promoting liberty, I will you know, be right there with you fighting the good fight. But it's also important to make sure that we're promoting libertarian beliefs. So I would love to see someone like Kim Ruff, who I, you know, I as well had on my show, because you know, she, she speaks about what it is to be a libertarian and makes it make sense, right? Um, you know, I would like to see Lincoln Chafee, if he is a libertarian, tell me his libertarian beliefs. Tell have him tell me his libertarian story, right? Because we all have the libertarian story. So I wanted, I would want to hear his libertarian story. Be convincing about it. And then it comes down to, okay, libertarian party, you know, establishment. What do, what do we want? Do you want the converted Republican Democratic Senator who voted for the Patriot Act to be your nominee? Or 
Do you want a you know, principled activist who's been a loyal member through and through throughout their career to be your, your nominee? Now, if you want to go towards the, the credible person, right, being the, the former U.S. Senator, all right, well, are they libertarian? And I'm not doing the whole, you know, oh, you're not a real libertarian, because obviously the answer is nobody's a real libertarian. Mm -hmm. But to at least advance the principles and the messaging, is that what our focus is? Um, you know, if it's to just say, you know, we're going to have the candidate running who's the most libertarian, well, great. Guess who they're going to win? Libertarians. Um, but we need but to have need to win more people than just libertarians. We need to have a, a, a really good salesperson, right, at the head of the movement. That's why Ron Paul was so successful, because if you're in sales, one of the things that you're always trying to do is is promote value, right? And, and what did Ron Paul do so well? He promoted the value of liberty. He said, you know, why why are we sending our boys and girls overseas to fight in these you know, in, in, endless wars? I mean, do you realize that Afghanistan, we've been in Afghanistan longer than World War I and World War II combined? Right. Think about that, right? That's insane. There's, um, no end, there's no end to these conflicts because it's become a private enterprise afterwards where the, the, the nation rebuilding right. and ha having our influence involved in dictating who gets in charge and everything else which is a big problem for me because I served, I, I was in Iraq in 2003. I've been there, I've been, I've had skin in the game and I see the waste and, and, and what happens. And is it wild, Kevin, that you think back, that was 16 years ago that you were there. I know. Isn't it wild? Ago. Yeah. 60, like, like kids that were born there are just learning to drive. Like that, right. that's insane. And the fact that right. we haven't promoted that as something like to relate to people, you know, on a more common right. basis with is beyond me. Like. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, subscribe to the show, like it and comment. Also, if you want the audio version because you're traveling, you're in a car and you can't watch it, you don't have time to watch the episodes, you could go in the show notes. There is a link provided. Um, Stitcher, iTunes, iHeartRadio, whatever your pleasure may be. Join me and listen uh, via the audio versions on uh, those other platforms, okay? But I really like uh, YouTube. I like the way it's working out. And if you can, subscribe. The more subscribers, the better the content I can provide you, and it costs you nothing. So I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.